at 10. It has been a tough day for this little guy. He fell more than 30 feet down an abandoned well, but he is doing just fine tonight after being rescued by an elite team of firefighters. The pup named Pablo got into serious trouble when he tumbled into a well in Malibu. Yeah, but thanks to an L.A. County search and rescue team, he is alive and doing much better tonight. Kicking on Stacy Butler is live in Pico Rivera, where she spoke with some of those rescuers tonight. And at least he's looking a lot better than when he first came out of the well, Stacy. Yeah, and he's a completely different color. We're talking about one lucky dog, and it's all because of the guys who work out of the Pico Rivera station here, and they operate that big machine behind me. It is the only heavy rescue unit in all of L.A. County. By the time the L.A. County Fire Urban Search and Rescue Team got the call of a dog that fell 35 feet into an abandoned well in Malibu, he had been missing for hours. Firefighters followed the sound of faint barking. We're just hoping he wouldn't stop barking. We wanted to hear him keep barking because that's the only sense we have that he's still alive. L.A. County firefighters cut through concrete to make the opening big enough for firefighter Jay Sartoris. He was wearing a hazmat suit searching for Pablo, a seven pound Yorkie stuck in the sludge. Unfortunately, the puppy was pretty much the same color of the mud, so uh, it was kind of hard to, to hear and, and to uh, see down there. Um, luckily, he made one little bark and I was able to just pinpoint where he was at. Um, but basically, he was just stuck in the mud. So it was like pulling him out until the dog released from the mud and popped right out. And then I just kind of hollered to uh, be brought up. You ready with the dog? Sartoris handed Pablo to firefighter Abe Serrano. It was just soaked. The poor dog was breathing really hard and just kind of panting. But, um, you know, he was still alive, so which was a good sign. Pablo was covered in sticky black muck. But he was alive. Pat him dry, kind of try to comfort him, and then we moved into an area where we we're going to wash him and wash all the muck off of him. It was an emotional reunion for Pablo's owners. They were meeting with contractors today to rebuild their home after the Woolsey fire when Pablo ran off. What I was mostly amazed with is how incredible the fire department was and how patient they were and how caring they were and really put in the time and effort. Hey. The best feeling I felt. Probably besides rescuing the dog was I found out later that the residents of that uh, location, they lost their home in one of the fires recently in Malibu. And so in a, in a small way, we were able to help them out, you know, rescue their dog. So for these guys out here, it was all in a day's work. Now, little Pablo was taken to the vet, of course, by his owners. They ran him over there. He's in good shape. They just say that they're going to wash him maybe one more time tomorrow. That's the very latest from Pico Rivera. Back to you guys in the studio. Uh, at least has a good ending, Stacey. Thank you.